What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Chris. I'm just starting out here on YouTube, but as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be discussing something that is very relevant to stuff that I've been wanting to put out on my channel and stuff that I will be putting out on my channel. This video is going to be all about the gym. Yes, the gym. The place where there's lots of big scary people lifting weights and yeah, that place. This is basically just going to be kind of like a beginner's guide to the gym because by experience I know that the gym can be scary and when you're first starting out it's kind of hard. So without further ado, let's get started. So number one would be to find a workout buddy. A workout buddy could be anyone from someone who already goes to the gym and knows what they're doing. The benefit of that is that you can follow them along and they can teach you stuff. And if it's someone who you know and who you're friends with, then following them around won't be awkward or anything. Also, instead of having someone who's already experienced in the gym, you could go with someone who's new to the gym just like you. That way you can learn together and, I don't know, just learn together. If you have someone who's also trying to start out a new healthy lifestyle, it can be motivating, so yeah. If you have the money or you're willing to pay, you can also just have a workout buddy who's a personal trainer. I know that most gyms offer personal training sessions and this is especially good because those people are certified to teach and they for sure know what they're doing. So they'll be teaching you everything perfectly, correctly, you know. Basically just having a workout buddy ultimately helps with intimidation in the gym and it's just nice to have someone with you because when you're all alone and you don't know what you're doing, it can be kind of weird. This leads me to my second sort of tip slash piece of advice. This one is very common for all new gym goers. Don't be intimidated. When I first started going to the gym, I was pretty scared because everyone around me looked like they knew what they're doing and I was afraid that if I picked up some weights or I started using a machine, I'd be doing it wrong and people would be staring at me like, what is she doing? And all these emotions going through me. I was nervous, embarrassed, intimidated. I felt super awkward. But you know what? Those people who you think are staring at you, it shouldn't even matter because First of all, you don't know who they are. You're not gonna remember their name or their face later on. Two, other people in the gym are there to work on themselves and they're probably not there to just bash on newbies and criticize their every move. How I deal with intimidation and the feeling of people staring at me is to just put on my headphones, blast some music, and kind of just zone everyone out. I don't really try to look around and see if people are staring at me. I just kind of do my own thing and hope that people aren't. Because when you kind of look around, you might make eye contact with people, people might want to talk to you. Mm, nah, I try to avoid that. Also, if someone's staring at you and you're a girl, maybe they're just looking at you because you're pretty or something. Not because you're, you know, messing up with whatever exercise. Actually, mm, I don't like when that happens. That just makes me feel creeped out and like, ooh, ooh, don't look at me. <laughs> but yeah, just Try not to be too intimidated. It takes time to start getting comfortable in the gym. And you know, sooner or later, it's gonna happen. So, don't sweat it. Moving on, tip number three would be that practice makes perfect. Wait, no, nah. no, nah. scratch that. Perfect practice makes perfect. By this, I mean you must practice things perfectly in order to become perfect. Because if you're practicing stuff wrong, what's the point? This kind of just translates into good form and good technique. So having good form and technique in whatever you're doing in the gym, whether it be lifting weights or using accessories or running or using some sort of machinery contraption type thing, whatever you're doing, form and technique is key because if you're not doing something properly, you're not really getting the full benefits. Like for example, if your feet aren't properly aligned or you're not flexing the right muscles or you do a squat and you don't go all the way down or you don't do the full movement of something, you're kind of just cheating yourself. You might as well just go all the way so you can finish the move, get the full benefit out of every sort of exercise that you do. A way to prepare yourself to practice perfectly is to educate yourself by going on YouTube. A lot of the stuff that I know now is from watching YouTube videos. There's so many different routines that you can follow and so many tutorials that go step by step to show you perfect form for anything, everything that you want to learn. Also, something I did was just learn from someone who knows what they're doing and who knows the rights and the wrongs. And if you have someone like that, definitely utilize them because they can correct you and make sure that you're doing each rep right so that you're getting your max benefit from your whole workout. 
Another sort of piece of advice to go off of this is just to not get discouraged if you do something wrong and you have to be constantly corrected because, you know, no one's gonna get it right on the first try. That has happened to me and just don't get down on yourself because you're gonna get it eventually. Practice makes perfect, perfect, practice makes perfect. Tip number four is to have a plan and have a schedule. So this is kind of like two in one. So having a plan is more on a daily basis. By this I mean, you know, when you go to the gym, have a routine in mind, know what you want to work out that day, and stick to it. Because if you don't have a plan and you don't know exactly what you want to do, you might just find yourself wandering around the gym and just kind of wasting your time. It's kind of hard to think of your own routine. A good place to look for routines is actually YouTube. There are tons of people who post full routines for any sort of body part, like if you want to work out your legs and your butt one day, just type in leg butt workout and you'll find tons of results. There are so many different ones out there and like that's basically where I get all mine from. If I don't follow one exactly, I'll take like certain exercises from each one and just put together my own and do whatever makes me feel good. So the second part of number four is to have a schedule. Find a time in the day that works best for you. If you're a morning person, you'll probably want to go work out in the morning. If you're a night person, maybe you want to go work out at night. This is basically just all about what fits your schedule. I'm a morning person for sure and for me, I love being productive in the morning. Get to the gym maybe at around 7.30, 8 o'clock and it feels good to be finished by like nine-ish because I still have my full day ahead of me but you know not everyone's a morning person so if you like afternoon workouts or night workouts that's totally fine just finding a time that works best for you because if you pick a good time in the day you'll probably perform better at the gym not only do you want to pick a good time in the day but also just a time in the day where your schedule is not super packed I feel the best at the gym when I can get a workout without having to feel rushed or having some sort of time restriction. I love just being able to pace myself. It just kind of sucks zooming through a workout because you might just be slacking off just to get it over with when really you gotta like focus and put your all into it when you're at the gym. Tip number five for newbies at the gym will keep things interesting for yourself. When you first get a gym membership you might not be familiar with all the amenities and classes that your gym might have to offer but you should definitely look into it and utilize it all. If you're one who just really likes cardio and all you do is run on the treadmill or go on the elliptical, you can try looking into or incorporating some weight training into your routine. If you start to get bored of the gym, you won't be motivated to go anymore. I think it really helps to just have something new to look forward to. For me personally, what I love about going to the gym is that every day I go, I do a different routine, I work out a different part of my body, so every day is different from the last. Also something that I've been doing is going to my gym cycle class. Go on the stationary bikes and we jam out to music and it's really fun and upbeat and it's a good way to get in some cardio because I've been kind of drawing away from that because ah, cardio. Ugh. Keep things interesting for yourself and I promise you'll be so much more motivated to go to the gym every day. Tip number six, look good, feel good. This is mostly just, you know, for girls. Something that I find very helpful is to just Wear clothes that you feel confident and comfortable in, things that you think flatter your body. Because if you can feel confident in yourself, I promise you, your workout is gonna be like a thousand times better. I don't know, I don't know if it's just me, but you know, when I wear cute clothes to the gym, I always have a better workout. Also, whenever I buy new gym clothes, it just motivates me that much more to go to the gym and wear those clothes. Not saying that you need cute gym attire to have a good workout. You know, I don't, I didn't really have much for this tip, but basically, look good, feel good. <laughs> All right, tip number seven, my favorite number. Listen to some good music. I cannot stress how important music is to me when I'm working out. When you listen to music, you can zone everything and everyone out. It's just you, your music, and whatever you're using is just the three of you. I really enjoy putting together playlists of songs that I know are gonna pump me up and I know that I love. I have a couple playlists on Spotify that I like bounce back and forth from. It really depends on my mood that day. That's me on Spotify. You know, if you wanna follow me, go ahead. I think I got some good music. I like listening to my rap playlist. That's just a little preview of some of the songs I like to listen to. Also, another thing that I really like doing is putting together playlists of music festivals that I either went to or I'm going to go to. For example, Coachella, 
You got Ice Cube, Disclosure, Snake Hips. I put all their good songs and it makes a great workout playlist, I must say. And because Coachella already happened, when I listen to those songs, I get the greatest vibes and it just brings me back, pushes me to work out super hard. Just listening to music that you love. I, I can't even, oh, man. So tip number eight would be to eat healthy. If you're starting out the gym, you're most likely trying to make some sort of healthy lifestyle change. But a big part of this is all about your diet. This is so important because there's no point in going to the gym and working your butt off and then, you know, pigging out right after. Your body is like a car. You put some good fuel into it, it's gonna run better. If you fuel it with some crap and some junk food and all that bleh, it's gonna go pfft. I'm pretty sure that 80% has to do with what you're eating and then the other 20% is what you're actually doing in the gym or if you're working out so being healthier is huge and it's a great tip for anyone who's starting out at the gym because if you're eating good and you're working out you will definitely see some great results number nine is to have goals it doesn't matter what day of the week it is it doesn't matter what time of the year because I know a lot of people like to set New Year's resolutions to start going to the gym or get healthy but you know if it's the middle of the year and you want to make a change do it some goals that people might have are to get fit get in shape live a healthier lifestyle lose some weight or reach a personal record like be able to run a mile in this certain amount of time or be able to squat this much, be able to deadlift this much. Once you have those goals set, you should definitely write them down in some sort of journal or put it on your phone and just have it there as a reminder for yourself. I would recommend keeping some sort of fitness journal. This one is the one I use usually. I just throw this in my gym bag. It's just a tiny little notebook where I, I can write down like certain goals that I have. Sometimes track what I eat or I write down like routines. So I can just kind of use this as a reference for when I'm in the gym. I prefer having a journal to look at and write in as opposed to, you know, typing it on my phone because I really try my best to not use my phone when I'm at the gym because it, it distracts me. I also have this journal that I made myself. It has a bunch of really cool pictures and inspiring words and little quotes that I took from magazines. If you guys want a tutorial on this, um, I'd be down to show that. This is actually really good for like back to school stuff too because it's a good way to like personalize your notebooks and it's super cute. I just, I'm really proud of this one right here. Back to the main tip. Whatever your goals are, keep them in mind in your daily life and especially when you're working out because if you start thinking about it, it reminds you of why you even started going to the gym in the first place. And numero 10, my final tip and piece of advice is to, drum roll please, be patient. Try your best not to expect results right away. We all want that six pack and those lean cut arms, but you know, you can't expect it right away, you know, like two days or a couple weeks after you first start working out. You just have to know that results aren't gonna happen overnight. You just gotta keep going at it, keep on keeping on. And just don't be discouraged, but trust me, the work that you put in now is going to pay off. Alright, so those are my 10 tips for anyone who is new to the gym and wants to start working out at the gym. I hope that these tips were helpful. Sorry if this video got a little bit lengthy. If you want a brief overview of everything, you can check down below in the description box. I'll list the 10 main tips that I have and then maybe a couple of main points from each tip. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos where I just list out advice that I have. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Oh my God. Can you please?